Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just gotten done breaking up a smuggling ring, for lack of a better phrase, because it was mainly being sold by one guy, as far as I could tell. And, uh, other than that, we freed the dancer girl from the guy who won her in a Pazak game because her boyfriend was a douche and won her back in a Pazak game that I totally won first try. No one has any proof to the contrary. Anyway, moving on, we had to head back to the cantina because there were things I missed. Oh yeah, that's right. I also had done a bit of the swoop racing stuff. Didn't place as well as I hoped. But, uh, maybe in the future I'll try again. But, for right now, we talked to her. Uh, there was these douchebags we talked to. Well, one was a douchebag, the other guy's kind of okay. And then this guy, Corin Fault, the only other named NPC that didn't have anything to do with Pazak, Swoop Racing, or The Exchange. As far as I can, can tell. For you? Uh, yeah. What could you tell me about Zerka since you're dressed up in their uniform? What's there to say? We're the only corporation with a branch on Citadel Station. Getting in early, as they say. If this whole Telos thing pans out, we could be in a great position. If Lorso doesn't screw it up, that is. Telos thing? You mean the planet restoration? Yeah, it's a long shot considering the state of the Republic these days. Still, mm. if it works out, the Republic may decide to start restoring other war-torn worlds. At least, that's what Zerka hopes. If we can integrate ourselves into the process, Zerka stands to make a tidy profit in the future. Mm -hmm. But how do they profit from it? Quite a few ways. As part of the Republic contract rewarded for a planet like Telos, Zerka is allowed to use the planet's natural resources to help fund and support the project. Huh. On top of that, the Senate's easy to negotiate with. They're liberal with the amounts of credits they throw around, even with the Republic being in the shape it's in. Mm. And of course, new planets mean new markets for Zerka products. All in all, a very good arrangement for us. Yeah, I could see where your uh I can see where your reasoning comes in. Tell me about Lorso. What is she screwing up? Yeah, Gianna Lorso. That woman's a... a look, forget it. She's my superior, and that's that. She'll screw up soon enough, and then I'll move in for the kill. Oh, yeah? How do you think she'll mess up? She's got her hands in too many dirty little... Um, whoa, I, I think I've had a few too many drinks. I shouldn't be talking to you about this stuff. Just forget it. I'll be going now. Well, I did get... I was being offered free drinks from, uh... Her. I wonder... Welcome to the Entertainment Module 081 Cantina. How can I assist you? Uh, what sort of entertainment do you have here? We feature Citadel Station's most talented all-bit band around the clock, as well as live Twi'lek dancers. You won't find any holograms here. Casual okay. soft players should be able to find a friendly match in the game room. Or, if you're a bit more seasoned, we have daily tournaments with some of the best players in the Outer Rim. Daily Cars tournaments? Slow for you. Try your hand at Citadel Station's Spook Track and see if you can challenge the all-time records. Last but not least, we feature only the finest cuisine and beverages from Ryloth to Corson. Interesting. Alright, I'll be going now. I guess I can't do anything in regards to that. I was hoping there was maybe something there. Maybe ply a little more information out of this guy. But doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, well, it's worth a shot, I guess. Maybe if I do the dark side path, maybe I could get him to lead the Zerka Corp stuff here. Maybe. Maybe. But I'm not doing that. I'm a good guy. Yeah, about that. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Moving on, we're going to go back. And I guess that was nothing really going on there. I was hoping there'd be something else going on, but doesn't seem like there's much else I can do in this section. Huh. 
So I guess I should just head back to the Athorians in Residential 082. Because I did get their robot for them. I just don't remember where their office is. I think these are the apartments. Yes, they are. Okay, then in that case, we go over here. Yep, that Zerka Corporation. Down the way is the exchange. Or the Boomani Exchange. We're going to whitewash their name. And should be right here. Yes, yes it is. The Athorian compound is right here. Boo and yeah. Now let's go talk to Choto Habat. The robot did make it here, right? No other shenanigans happened, right? <laughs> Choto! My people await your arrival at the Bay 2 of... Wait, what? I already... I already did that. I literally already did that. Was I... Was I supposed to talk with them? <laughs> and then they would walk me back here? Is that what was supposed to happen? <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's what I'll have to do. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. It's so dumb. I thought... I thought... I thought it was done. Anyway. Uh, I guess I'll talk to, uh... Them about Batono. A man named Batono. Er, Batono. I am sorry to admit that that name is unfamiliar to me. I must admit I have little interaction with the other residents of this area, however. I thought you might know of him, given his dislike of Zerka. If it is true that he has no, he was no friend of Zerka, I wish it were true that I knew of him. But alas, I do not. I am sorry I cannot be more helpful. Okay. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm heading back. <laughs> Screw it, I'm using the information terminal transit to dock module 126. Ah, boy. I am now so annoyed. Okay. I did the thing. I didn't think I would need to do more of the thing. Well, good thing I came back. <laughs> <laughs> Still feel an answer, really? That's it? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Thank you for your help. Okay, I talked to the droid, I guess. I will trust your judgment, Master. Lead the way. You trust my judgment. Oh, so I still have an <laughs> still have an option of screwing over the authorians. Wow, this game gives you every opportunity to change your mind. Almost every opportunity i didn't realize it was that heavy-handed with it wow okay uh yeah follow me to the ethorian compound <laughs> i like the fact that they have the sound effect of the steps walking away ah i am gladdened by your safe return my people sent word of what happened at the docks i am yours to command master Good, good. Our computer system has been prepared for your arrival. You may begin transferring your data into it immediately. I shall do so now, Master Habak. Farewell, and farewell to you as well. Very well. I am grateful for your help in this matter. Please accept this as a gift from my people. Uh... Is there anything else I can do to help you? This incident at the docks confirmed one of my fears. The gunmen were from the exchange. Zerka has hired the criminal syndicate to work against us. Long have I suspected that Zerka and the exchange work together, the former supplying manufactured arms to be sold via the latter's black market channels. Now, with the TSF keeping a closer eye on Zerka activities, the corporation has turned to the exchange to be its fist on Citadel Station. That makes sense. 
paying for thugs because they're too closely monitored. Coke's death squads come to mind. Uh, <laughs> since we're making real life analogs <laughs> and basically finding the parallels between real life and fantasy, I might as well bring up Coca-Cola's death squads. <laughs> Well, there goes that sponsorship deal. Anyway. <laughs> I don't even like Coke that much anyway. It's fine. It's whatever. Uh, what is there to be done? I have tried to meet with the leader of the exchange here, a quorum named Lopak Slusk. Oh, I know of him. He has refused my every invitation and allows no one inside the exchange suites. I fear he does not take us seriously. The Jedi, though, are renowned as warriors and diplomats both. Perhaps you can speak to Lopak, show him the value of a restored Telos. I could just tell him I'm not a Jedi, but everyone's already throwing me that label. Lean into it. Fuck it. Why not? I'll go speak to him. I am most grateful for your assistance. I will guide my thoughts towards your safety, and Lopax as well. I wish harm upon no one. Infiltrator gloves? Okay. What does that mean, though? Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty, pretty good. These gloves are equipped with an enhanced, advanced, rather, um, artificial intelligence unit that the wearer can use to tap into nearby computer systems through cables or wireless transmission. The system also stabilizes the wearer's hands for fine detail work. Okay, not one for me but definitely one for Atten. And I guess she'll get the insulated gloves. She's basically getting everything that's keeping her from getting screwed over and nothing else. There's almost nothing else worth giving. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Stealth Field Enhancer. I don't actually know what that does. Oh, it ups it by plus four. That explains why she can't use it. It's a uh, light armor proficiency, so she can't even use it. And stealth is kind of not needed as strongly with my build. So, yeah. I might just scrap those. But anyway, that is a future problem. Current problem is deal with Lopax Lusk. Although, I could just do a frontal assault, for lack of a better phrase, on their compound. But, at the same time, I could just talk to that lady that was in the cantina. That is an option as well. Uh, let's look at what I can break down, because I'm sure... Oh, I get a lot of chemicals out of breaking down these med packs. And a lot more out of these. Whoa. Wowzers. Uh, do I get more if... I hear you. I hear you. I have someone who is... Skilled. You're kidding. It's worse with him? That doesn't make sense. I have no demolition skill. Is it just because the lab station uses the treat injury skill? Is that why? That's the only thing that makes sense to me. I'll have to look that up because... One would think...
you know, one would think breaking down if making the stuff can be made easier by switching da -ba -da -ba -da. What's, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the, the way I'm trying to coherently make my thought and trying to translate that into English and while that is my first language I have a tendency for word salad and I'm trying to make sure I get the thought out properly <laughs> but at the same time it's like I'm not even sure if I understand where my brain is in this thought but wouldn't it make sense that if switching characters to make the item would actually you know matter in the amount of uh, chemicals required and the amount of items you were able to make wouldn't it be true in the opposite way and with uh, Atten having the higher demolition skill, he should be able, I would think, to break down the explosives for far more chemicals. But it seems I'm the one who's able to do that. That makes no sense. Or at least very little sense. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to argue with it. I'll just go with it, especially since I have so many sonic grenades. I have no need to carry this many. Uh, plasma grenades, wow. Breaking those down, give me 225. Wowzers. Okay, um... Average sonic mine. I could break these down. I have no strong need for these. So, yeah, I'll break. Yeah, I'll keep two, just in case I need to blow something up with a mine or something. I doubt I will, but it's worth at least holding on to for a little bit. Uh, it's 24, 12. Creatable items. I could spend some of those chemicals I just got in making more of these. Yeah, that'll work. I found out that that's not going to be something I can equip on me. Honestly, I think only up to Lornan Implant I can do. Immunity, 5% versus energy, and 10% versus electrical. Retinal Combat Implant. Yeah, I think I'm at 14, right? Aren't I at 14? I'll have to double check. Uh, I am at 17. But then again, I'm getting a plus 3. From something, I think. What am I wearing that would do that? What the... Oh, that was switching weapons. I forgot that that button does that. Um... Hmm... I get a plus one from that. I get a plus one from this. And that's a save. And that's... And I get a plus one from that. So yeah, I'm getting plus three total. So yeah, I can only really do up to 14. Hmm. I'm gonna go with none. For now, and give him the reflex package. What is he at? Now I'm thinking about it. Oh, he's also at 14, so it wouldn't matter much anyway. Okay, well. <laughs> that's what I get for accidentally switching weapons. Uh, retinal combl... Comblat? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my brain is breaking. Uh... Pheromone package would be better for me because I'm the one who needs more persuade. Yeah, I guess I'll invest in that instead. 
absolutely, I'll invest in that more instead. But... Hmm. I'm sure I'll get one of those eventually. Okay. Uh, let's look at everything else. Nope, no reason to bother with those. Uh, don't need that. Okay, I should break this down. Just to get some of the chemicals back from my oopsie doodle. Didn't know I can't do that. Okay. That's honestly what I get, though. I didn't actually look at the requirements. My brain just went, ooh, stats are good. Didn't bother reading the fine print. Which, you know, is its own thing. Its own annoying thing. Okay. Exchange thug. I could talk to you. You have no business with the exchange. Get out of here. I'm here representing Chodo Habat. The Ithorian? We have no business with him. Then how do I set up an appointment? For a second, Luxa. She's usually in the cantina, in Entertainment 081. Or I could just go dark side and kill him. I'm not going to do that, but I guess we talk to Luxa, which was my suspicion in the first place. But... I do not approve of this alliance we have formed with Chodo Habat and his Ithorians. Why? Why is that? Habat has an agenda, and he hopes to tie you into it to oh. use you to his own ends. That can is making a lot of noise, even though it shouldn't. Oh. That's why. The bottom is dented. I didn't even notice. Oops. Anyway. We need his resources. Whatever help we must give in return is necessary. True. He may be able to help us locate the Ebon Hawk, but still, you must be vigilant. Okay. Cool. I didn't gain or lose anything with her. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Transit to another module. Why is it not letting me go to 081? That's weird. Do I actually have to interact with it before it'll let me do that? Is that what the issue is? I didn't interact with the terminal in 081? That's dumb. I get it, but it's dumb. Pretty sure the terminal's over here. Yes, it is. All right. Yep. That'll do it. That'll do it. Now I have it. As much good as it's gonna <laughs> be now. I at least have it now. All right. Time to talk to Luxa. Hello. Hello there. You know, Hello. I heard about what happened at the docks. Can we talk for a bit? Oh, did you? Uh, but, uh, what do you want? Oh, so forward. I like that. Oh, do you now? I handle vice. You know, mm -hmm. spice, gambling, the good things in life. Yeah. The local exchange Fair. Boss, low pack slots. Mm-hmm. That's a list of my favorite things. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know about the gambling part or the spice, but, you know. Fair enough. So, your exchange. Don't worry, I won't make a move on you. That squid and I don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. You being one of them. Oh, yeah? What does this have to do with me? Look, are you really Jedi? I was, but not anymore. Exactly. This exchange bounty has nothing to do with you. But Slusk, my boss, won't listen to me. Still, mm -hmm. you seem a very capable soul. Tell me, are you a capable soul? What does this have to do with anything? I think you're even tougher than you look. Jedi or not. So here mm -hmm. it is. Help me with Lopax Lusk, and I'll keep the exchange off your back. And 
find your missing ship. How did you know my ship was missing? What am I thinking? She's exchange, of course. She knows everything that goes on in this hellhole. All right. So what's your problem with Slusk? What, besides his being your typically slimy quorum? Slusk works for Goto. Okay. Out of Narshada. Mm -hmm. That's Goto. He's rigid, ruthlessly efficient, and all he sees are numbers. Mm -hmm. Goto keeps the squid around because he maintains a steady flow of income. It is only half of what I know it could be. I should be the Citadel's boss. But Goto doesn't allow breaks in the chain of command. I can't go over Lopak Slusk's head, so I've got to take care of him myself. And I want your help. Mm hmm. So, hmm. Let me get this straight. Because you can't get into a place of command on your own merits. Sorry about that. It seemed to be coming down with something. But, yeah. Um,. So, because you can't get into a leadership position on your own merits, you are trying to make me clear the way for you. Am I getting that right? How would this work? I can get you into the exchange suites in residential 082, mm -hmm. the west of the entrance. More than a few of the guards are in my pocket, so there shouldn't be too much resistance. Mm -hmm. so when Slust's out of the way, I'll clear up this bounty matter and get your ship back. Deal? I'll think about it. You do that. Come back when you've made up your mind. So long, handsome. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that means that I still actually have to talk to her. Damn. I still have to talk to her. Okay. The Gamorian ignores you. He might not even speak basic. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, I'll do it. We'll speak again. Best of luck, Hanson. I guess we will. And now we head out and head back, I assume. That's how we're going to do things. All right. Transfer to there. And that should give us an opening to get into the building. Or at least it should. I'm not entirely sure it will. Okay. Luxa sent me. I hope you know what you're getting into, human. <laughs> Vula, a human is here to see Slusk. Everything checks out. Please open the door. I forgot which voice I gave him. For half a second. <laughs> For half a second. I forgot that Rodians are a little more high-pitched in their manner of speaking. A little more nasally. Yeah. Anyway. Considering how their mouth is, it makes sense to me. Anyway. In we go. I'm terribly sorry, but there must be some sort of mistake. I don't have a record of your appointment. Are you certain it was for today? Uh, hmm. Of course. Why else would I have been sent in? Perhaps the mistake is in the system. Well, if... Very well. What was your name? Stray Cat. Excuse me. Lopak Slusk's appointment has arrived. Please open the inner door. There you are. Have a good day. Thank you. And we're just able to walk through freely. No issues at all. Oh. Uh-oh. Have you come to torment me like the others? No, of course not. I could just lie about being not here to do that. Why, yes, yes, I have. Jeez, that's messed up. Why are you here? Then perhaps you will free me. I was placed here by two large Gamorians, and I do not know the reason why. They have not fed me, and they will not allow me to return to my herd. 
How do I set you free? I am not sure. I think the force cage was operated remotely. There should be a rem security panel somewhere. I'll see what I can do. Security panel somewhere. Okay. I guess... Remotely would suggest elsewhere in the facility. Wow, this place is a bit of a maze. Oh. You've got a lot of nerve coming here, Jedi, with the bounty we've got on your kind. What do you want? Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> with a lot of options. I'm not sure which one I like more. Um, <laughs> I'm here representing Chodo Habat. You, what? I gave very specific instructions regarding that hammerhead and any of his cronies. Who let this idiot in? Matu, bring me whoever's working the door. Nahata, tell Chodo if he sends anyone else, we'll come for him. Dust this foolish Jedi. With pleasure. Oh yeah, that guy we talked shit to earlier. Benok, that's the dude. We talked shit around him to the... Uh, to the cantina. That's right. That's all right. I remember now. Well, um, I could do force push. Uh, I should probably do that, in fact. And then follow up with a bunch of those. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, didn't even, didn't even take any extra. All right. Oops. Okay. It's going to take a while of combat for sure. Alright. Nahata. How did I... How did I keep... How did I keep end up missing? Oh well. It doesn't matter. The fact that she is taking a lot more damage is wild to me. What the... <laughs> that was an effect that showed up a little too late. Benox Blaster. Interesting. Lab station. Interesting. Err. Ah, I don't need to use it. Now I think about it. There's no need. Took care of all of his cronies. And I guess we'll give him one of the blasters. Benox blaster. This blaster belonged to Benox. Well, now it belongs to me. Uh, additional ion. That's a little odd. Huh. It is balanced. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do it this way. Yeah, much better. Yeah, that, that'll work. Alright, in the meantime... Security! Well. The Gamorreans aren't doing nothing. Well, hi there. The Gamorrean boss, okay. Luxa said you were strong. I will get you inside. We will see how strong you are. Boss, Matu is here with Kubis from the door. You want to see him now? Yes, I will send him. What? Whoever let you get back here better be dead. Or they, they'll be wishing they were, they were when my droids are through with you. Whoa. So sending in the droids. That won't work at all. We've already fought enough droids. To know that that won't work out. At least for you. Haha! <laughs> Actually, you know. Haha! <laughs> that worked out beautifully. You've handled yourself well getting this far. But you should think things over carefully. I can be a very valuable ally. Just what is it you want? To join the exchange? Money? Huh? Money? Huh? I just want you to leave the Athorians alone. Really? All this trouble just for that? 
Just for just that, really? Ah, it seems we have some visitors. I was wondering when you'd show up, Luxa. Slusk. I assume this was all you're doing. I may have had a hand in this, yes. I suppose I should have known. You always were an ambitious one. Enough with that, though. On to the business at hand. I don't think it's possible that all of us will be leaving this room alive. I mean, can't we talk about this? Come to an agreement? Only if that agreement involves Lux's termination. Uh, that seems a little dark sidey. Even though it would be for the greater good of the station? Yeah, it'd be dark sidey, but I'm not entirely sure if this would be dark sidey either. Ah, eh, screw it. I'm gonna turn down your offer, Slusk. Goodbye. I see. In that case, that'll be the last mistake you ever make. Okay. More stunning of droids now. Alright, and the other turret is dead, so go to beat up Slusk now. Well, that's all wrapped up. I've got to thank you for your help. One Zeltron. Oh, so that's what she is. Okay, that makes sense. Look, I just want the exchange off Citadel Station. It's a shame I have to turn you down after you asked so nicely, but no. Then I guess this is the end of our relationship together. I always did break a lot of hearts. Slusk's dead, but Godo's still my boss. I'm shipping you to Nar Shaddaa, Jedi. Dead or alive. Well, I guess those Gamorrean buds are no longer buds. <laughs> eh, well. Everyone, get oh, I was hoping that the... <laughs> I was hoping that the push would work. It would have been funny watching them fly. Oh, come on. Let me... Let me have one. Oh, <laughs> he just gets knocked down. Oh, come on. That's just mean. Oh, okay. Well... Everyone down. Out of force points. Maybe Nar Shada isn't such a good idea after all. Changed your mind, Atten? Did we just see what happened? Exchange is one of the most powerful groups on the smuggler's moon. If this Goto wants you so badly, it'd probably be a good idea not to show up on his doorstep, wouldn't you say? Not to mention, I'm sure Lopak Slusk has friends Oop. on Nar Shada that won't be happy to hear he's gone. Can keeps making noises, it's annoying, but there's not much else I can do about it. Unless I hold it from the top, apparently. Now it's not making noise. Boy. Anyway. Um... Yeah, I think this is the proper answer. We can't worry about that now. We need to get off of this station first. Yeah, you're right. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Ha-ha! Got a level up, too. Nice. So that means I can level up that. Well, maybe not that far. Jesus. Um, 12 is currently... Wait, what? Maximum skill rank of 12. It's current level plus 3. Oh. That makes sense. Alright. So that's done for that. Um, persuade also up. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this spread. I'm okay with that. Feats, let's see. I could go with Master Flurry and then suffer no penalties anymore. I can't complain about that. <laughs> but at the same time, I'd rather have no penalties when it comes to trying to attack either. Yeah.
but having no penalties at all is really ideal. So I might just do that, but I just want to double check everything else I have available. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to go with that. That way I don't have to deal with any problems in regards to missing attacks and also lowered defense. So, powers. Let's go with powers. What should I do for powers? I don't know. <laughs> Ah, Force Whirlwind should be good. Force Wave will be great when we get to that. I remember. I remember spamming the hell out of that. <laughs> That's probably going to be my most used one for sure. But yeah, let's go with this. For sure. For sure. Force Whirlwind. Alright. And everyone is kind of leaning bluish. Not that much for Kreia. But... At least, uh, Atten is. And I'm super blue. Alright. So, I was about to say, I figured everyone had something good. And I knew that there was going to be a Lornan implant. Or some sort of implant at some point that I'd pick up. Ooh, a lot of credits. Med pack. And Sistec Oral Blaster and an Enhanced Energy Cell. Not bad. Foot locker. Just had chemicals in it. Alright. Security terminal. Okay. Bypass the secure login. Access remote controls. Reception area. Uh, holding cells. Deactivate force cage 2. Let him get out of here. And that should be good. That at least completes that. Wall, Taurus survival gloves, repair kit, parts, concussion grenade. Oh, and I still can open the other one too. Oh, I love having the ability to open more stuff. Zabrac Vibro Blade. Oh, I have so many good things in my inventory now. <laughs> okay, alright. Zabrac Vibro Blade is definitely better than my current one. And I can... It is fully upgradable. And a bonus feat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm equipping that. And then I'm heading to a workbench to get it all outfitted up as much as possible. For sure. Uh, the Lorno... Lornan... Lornel? Why did I say Lornel? It's Lornen. Implant. That's good enough for now, anyway, until I get the charm one. Then we're all good on that. Uh, but, uh, oh, I already have the tar survival gloves. <laughs> okay. So, maybe I should give them to her, too. Give her a little bit of survivability if nothing else yeah no that should be fine that should be fine all right i think we're good now oh, it's got a little green tint to it too oh i love it i love it it's olive green but hey it's still green i'm okay with that hello remains that i missed somehow computer spike okay Alrighty. it's a lab station i don't need I just need a workbench, which again. Well, hi there, Vula. Please don't kill me. I'm only doing my job. I wasn't planning on doing that. I just wanted to let you know that you're free to go. <laughs> Fine, but stay out of my way. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was necessary, but okay. All right. Well, the exchange has been officially taken out on Citadel Station, which is good. Now means that uh, the Zerka's actions on the Citadel Station are basically over with. 
they now no longer have a uh, workforce to do shady shit with. Which is, you know, ideal. Do I head back to Chodahabat or do I actually try to get a workbench thing going? Probably better to try and get the workbench thing going. I just don't know where there's a workbench. That is the question. That's still locked. Okay. Figured it was worth a shot. Workbench, workbench. Where the hell's a workbench? I know, I know there's one nearby. I have, I have this feeling in my gut somewhere in there. Where? I know there has to be one. There's no way there's not. There's no way there's not. Ah. Uh, I never opened this the entire time. That's locked. Um, won't let me unlock it through conventional means. Oh, what the? I told your boss already. I'm getting your credits. I have a good contract with... Uh, you're not from the exchange. What do you want? What does the exchange want with you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Do you need a droid repaired? Because if not, I have much work to do. You sell droid parts. Yes, I do. Okay. And what do you got? Well. You do have a lot of parts. And a lot of computer spikes. That ain't too bad. Durability upgrade. Ups constitution and gives more fortitude saves. Okay. Lockout bypass. And some of those things ain't too bad. A lot of these things ain't too bad. But, yeah, I'll call it good. You have a workbench behind you. I knew there was a workbench here. I knew there was. Okay. So, to, you know what? We're already over time. I'll do this off camera. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe. <laughs> My throat decided to die in the middle of that. <laughs> Let me try that again. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to do my damnedest to help the people of Citadel Station. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Considering I've basically wiped out the exchange on this entire station. More or less. And then from there, we just have to help the Athorians further their interests against Zerka. Because Zerka seems to be doing their own thing. Uh, if they continue, maybe it should be fine. But who knows? Uh, I will probably still have to help the Athorians, though, for sure. Uh, when it comes to Zerka, they can suck it. But, uh... Yeah, more of that will be in the next episode for sure. For you.